Welcome back to my channel. It's your girl, I got you from the 256. Your East African girl here to bring you positive vibes. If you're new to this channel, welcome, welcome, welcome. I encourage you to tell a friend, tell a friend, even if you need to pause, hit the subscribe button, like, comment, and all that good stuff. Um, because yeah. But if you're new to this channel or are not aware, I do have a spinal cord injury, which means that I use a wheelchair. So yes, let's get on the topic of today, guys. So yes, as I said, we're going to be talking about pressure sores today. And you guys are like, why? Like, what's the importance? So the importance is it's actually something that is um, a very high risk to people with spinal cord injuries and something that I incredibly overlooked. However, much I was told, I knew it was important in the back of my head, but yikes. So as you can tell by where I'm going with this, I got one. I got one about a week ago. I um, was doing my was doing my do was doing my life was taking a shower and then bam, I felt something that I knew I'd never felt in my body before. And then in that moment, it was like, cue the music. Oh no! Oh no! 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 Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! 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 Yeah. So um, and my pressure sore is on my bum. So. I was pretty worried so i kind of went for the first couple days and i kind of guys i ignored it i was literally in disbelief i was like i don't know what to do about this like they told me guys doctors my parents any anyone was telling me like the one thing you don't want to get is a pressure source you need to make sure you're taking care of your skin taking care of everything to make sure you don't get one so i was doing what i needed to do but clearly i wasn't doing enough and um yeah so i'm just gonna hop in and tell you guys what a pressure sore is for anybody that doesn't know um anyone that doesn't know so a pressure sore is basically the breakdown of skin and the tissues under the skin um that is caused by pressure or friction so in my case sitting in a chair this whole long time so because i sat on my bum i sit on it a lot basically and i will say i became lazy with doing things such as lifts so um if i'm going to be standing for a bit it's advised to do lifts very frequently so that your bum can get relief and blood can start circulating in those areas that blood is no longer circulating in and also having a spinal cord injury means that my blood circulation especially in my lower body is pretty whack like it's it's not that good so if i do get an injury in that area like my sore right now it's gonna take a bit of time to heal um which was pretty disheartening to me like i mean i got it and i was in disbelief and i was pretty bummed guys like i was bummed and like it was hard like this past few days i've just not been um really it guys like i know i'm going to make it through i make it through everything because guys we don't know what my second name means mutes asada means he who does not feel sorry for himself but because i'm a girl Oh, we're remixing it to she who doesn't feel sorry for herself so i know i'm going to be good um but yeah i was just very um I was just very unsure of, of what next to do so these are the things that i've done so after that after i got my pressure sore guys so my mom's a doctor and i really did not want to tell her that i got my pressure sore like guys i was trying to deal with this on my own and i'm so thankful i got over my pride and i let her know what was going on because she told me that girl <laughs> you need to go get seen like because if you don't treat this quickly it can result in and lead to more complications that basically i don't want so and um another thing that i did was i have a friend so if you have friends that are that have spinal cord injuries or you know anybody that has been in, in in a situation before you it is important to reach out to them i was really nervous i was really guys i don't like putting myself out there i don't like looking like i don't know i don't have control of my life so it was it was definitely one of those moments where i pull my pride aside and all those things aside and just say yo i need help i don't know how to deal with this and i don't want it to get worse and yo she was a champ guys like she came through with the dude like she let me know what to do she actually sent me this this link that i'm actually reading some of the like the definitions and some of the things that i'm going to tell you guys to prevent it but yeah she also brought me this cushion so it's a ro it's called a rojo cushion it sounds fancy guys it's a rojo cushion and basically it has um i guess come on
basically has partitions and um you can fill it with air to your needs so they so yeah um basically it's just a nicer surface for your bum to sit on because guys so i lost i had a really nice cushion for my wheelchair but i lost it and then i started using one that was like this thing so she's not gonna be used again because she <laughs> she messed up well i messed up for not being diligent and getting another one soon as i should have um, but then she also advised she also advised me that i need to go see our wound specialist or something of that sort uh yeah so basically you just have someone assess it in person and really see because there's only so much that i can assess looking at it myself so based off her advice how you treat your first sore basically determines how the rest of your sores are gonna go or if you even get any so i'm really trying to do this right because yeesh, i'm not trying to be here again so if you have friends that are able to help out and give you advice please do that so yeah and then other things i've basically been doing since finding out i've been in bed a lot i've been just trying to not be on my on my bottom on my bum on my cabina i've been on my bed and uh, i've been mostly in a lying down position but also trying to switch sides because you don't want to dramatically switch all your weights to like let's say um your side or to your to your tummy um because then you can get sores on those areas so we don't want that so we're trying to really balance it out and and then something else that i'm that i'm doing my mom told me and makes so much sense is to keep exercising so basically just keeping these muscles moving your legs moving and all that is really good to just get that extra flow of blood because as i said my blood flow and all that is not good and when you don't get blood flow and oxygen in those areas then it is harder for that for that area to heal right and also when you get a spinal cord injury depending on um your level and your con on your level of control your bowel your bowel and your bladder may not work as great so mine doesn't work as great so that area isn't always dry so that's something that i've been trying to do keep that area dry and not moist um, so yes yeah, so that's basically that's basically it like i will do another video on like on how it's progressing and like it's and like an updated video where i'll probably say more of what has worked for me because for now i've not really done that much um so basically my rundown if you missed anything from this video of how to prevent it number one get a good cushion make sure it's supporting you in all those correct areas number two get regularly you check your skin all your skin all those areas even if you cannot see it and that leads to another point once you do get your sore like mine is in my behind i can't really see it i've had to just learn to take pictures to just see its progression and i keep them like in a special folder but i keep them just so that i can see if it's getting worse or better or just to keep track on that um until someone is able to actually look at it which i'm hoping is soon but for now i'm the person who has to look at it just to make sure it's good so regular checkups on your skin third um regular relief moments and so that is these lifts that i'm going to start doing so if you know me and you see me doing a lift don't question it <laughs> or you can i really don't care so i don't know this video has kind of been all over the place but i do hope you get some you know some insight on what a pressure store is and and all that and for all my csi people i hope that you know this is a reminder to take care of your skin to take care of your body it's so hard for me sometimes to remember areas that i don't feel like i don't feel my bomb so sometimes i just say ah, it's fine but your body is not a machine your body has feelings even if you don't feel it so i hope this is just a reminder to you guys to remember and 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 get off <laughs> and, and get working like sometimes it might be stressful to have to like maybe continuously change during the day or to like get off your bum when all your friends are going to go and do all these things like you just have to realize you're moving at a different pace to make sure that you're not here um where i am <laughs> um it's a lesson learned i just have to do better you know i just have to do better and 
Ooh, my voice is breaking. It's been a hard week, guys, but I just this is why I wanted to do this video to just think about something else and to have, you know, something positive to to this. So guys, I'm really good. Trust me, I'm really good. It's just tiring. I'm tired of Zoom. I just wanted to be somewhere. So emotions on a high. But yeah, so I just wanted to turn this situation into something more positive. Um and informative and um to just basically have it to be a reminder because this was a harsh reminder to me but i want this to be a kind reminder to anybody else that is not in this situation and has not gone in this situation and i hope you do not be in this situation and um yeah so <laughs> in terms of the precious sword talk it is done thank you for coming thank you for dealing with how all over the places was but i hope you learned something and yeah